How do I collect game pieces in Into the Deep? In Into the Deep, you have to collect and manipulate up to three different game pieces. Samples, clips, and specimen. The specimen is the combination of a sample and a clip. This is a sample. It's a hard plastic, one and a half by one and a half by three and a half inches in size. The sample isn't just a rectangular prism. It has these triangular divots in here that create these hard edges on each corner that make it easier for your robot to manipulate. Clips, for the most part, won't be handled by your robot, but will be available in the human player station for the human player to interact with. When a sample is returned to the human player station, the human player can attach a clip to a sample with a click. The combination of these two game pieces is called a specimen and can be reintroduced to the field either on top of the field border or on the floor in the human player station. The sample comes in three different colors, yellow, red, and blue. The yellow is the neutral sample when the red and blue samples correspond to your alliance color. The two common ways we've seen to handle these game pieces are a simple claw mechanism or something like a rotary intake mechanism with intake wheels that bring the game piece closer into the mechanism. Claws, like what exists on the Robit starter bot for this year, are pretty effective at handling this game piece. Keep in mind that as you design a claw, you may want to consider handling these game pieces in multiple orientations. The claw will force the game piece to conform to whatever orientation the claw is in. But keep in mind that this requires a little bit more precision than a rotary intake because you have to get the claw at least pretty close to a line for you to pick up the game piece at all. This claw holds the game piece in a vertical orientation and picks it up in the same orientation, with some margin for error. We picked this orientation so that the robot can easily collect specimen from the side border and score it on the submersible in the same orientation. This claw has rubber bands on it, which increases the friction between the claw and the game piece, ensuring a better grip each time you got one. A rotary intake mechanism will take a wheel, spin it really fast, and have that wheel contact the game piece. However, with something like a round wheel, it does occasionally fit into this divot in the game piece, meaning that it could spin and your game piece might not go anywhere. The rotary mechanisms tend to be much more forgiving when it comes to acquiring a game piece, and you can approach game pieces from a wider range of orientations. However, you will have less control over the angle at which the game piece has entered your intake. Uh, because it's rotary, uh, there's a lot of possible states the game piece can be in, so once it's in your robot, it may not necessarily be where you predict it to be every time. When developing your intake mechanism, it's useful to try out multiple different combinations of wheels, wheel styles, speeds for your intake, geometries for your intake, that sort of thing. This here is a 35A compliant wheel. Uh, it's pretty squishy, and against the hard plastic of the sample, it conforms pretty well. So if you have something that's pretty close to the sample size, this will do great. Meanwhile, if you try something like a stealth wheel like this one, it's got really no compliance here. So you may lose contact with the sample, even if your mechanism is pretty sturdy. While just the wheel can get stuck in this little divot here in the sample, we have found that our product, the Compliance Star, is actually really great at picking up this game piece from basically any orientation, because these little wings here do fit right into the divot and make sure that you get a great spin hold on the game piece. Compliance stars come in multiple durometers. You may want to try a couple, see which one fits your intake mechanism. This is just one example of a rotary intake mechanism that we've developed here at AndyMark. It uses the compliance stars to pull a sample into place and keep it in this little container right underneath the star. This intake mechanism in particular is developed specifically for collecting from the submersible and scoring it in the bucket. It can't manipulate the specimen or the clip. Manipulating the specimen require more precision and something probably more along the lines of a claw intake. Make sure that whatever intake mechanism you come up with, it is going to be reaching into the submersible. So ensure that it's not going to get easily caught on other robots or parts of the submersible. You don't want to end up with a broken servo cable or uh, other piece of your mechanism hanging out there in the submersible. Consider focusing your intake design around precision. At extremely high levels of play, you may find that the baskets get pretty full and a high precision intake will allow you to score more on top of what has already been scored in the basket. I'd also recommend considering how to autonomously identify which samples are available in the submersible and targeting those automatically. Doing it by hand can be time consuming and pretty difficult. This, however, is not the easy path here. Uh, obviously the easiest way to do it is just to do it by eye, but if you have some additional controls availability, this is a great option to try and speed up your design. 
Remember, there's not a limit on how many mechanisms are on your robot, just in the number of motors and servos you have available to you. You could have multiple of these intakes. That's entirely up to you and the way you design your robot. Remember, consult the manual through the whole process and make sure you're following the rules. You don't want to get to inspection with an illegal robot. What's been shown in this video are just a few examples of how you can manipulate samples in Into the Deep. We're excited to see how teams solve this challenge in hundreds of ways we couldn't have even thought of. And that is how you collect game pieces in Into the Deep. Thank you.